Well, Series 2 isn't at a loss of, uh, for drama and um, fights, violence. Um, every character goes, has an arc and goes through a journey. Um, Lizzie does reappear in Series 2, which is fantastic. Um, and she has been given a chance by the Shelbys to have a, have a chance in her life, basically, and turn her life around. But um, if you're going to get involved with the Shelbys, then you're going to get cut. Well, I um, unfortunately haven't had any chance to work with Tom Hardy, um, but with Killian, pretty much all my scenes were with him, and obviously he's a fantastic um, person to act with. Um, yeah, I had a great time, really good time. As soon as, well, in the first series, as soon as the opening was um, Red Right Hand playing, um, Nick Cave's Red Right Hand was playing, it, it, you're already at, you know, on a winner. Um, the cinematography, it's, it's another height. Um, the writing, you know, ev everything about it is just classy. And um, it would be great if more British drama aimed for those heights. What else have you got coming up yourself at the moment? At the moment, I am, I am just hunt, on the hunt for work. So, yeah, nothing in the foreseeable future, but hopefully. <laughs> My final question, obviously, we miss Misfits so much. Looking back on that experience for you, what's your fondest memory of your time on set with the guys and the gang? Of the Misfits? Oh, well, I mean, I had such a good time with my tortoise. Um, I actually started to believe that there was a man in there, so that's a bit worrying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the chat. Do you have a message for fans before you leave us, particularly about Peaky Blinders? Um, I hope you enjoy it. I, um, I know you'll enjoy it. And, um, yeah, wear your peaks, I guess. Wear your peak caps when you're watching it. <laughs>